Guys, the chicken's here, bringing you another Boomage video. In today's video, guys, we're going to head back over to the Warships Island. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we're going to be keeping you guys up to date on everything that is Warships. Now, we are currently stuck on the island that is between rank 21 and rank 22. We get close to rank 22, then we go to rank 21. We get uh, pretty far back on rank 21, we go get closer to rank 22. That's how it's been for like the past few days. So... What I decided to go over for this video, instead of getting to rank 22, because that's not going to happen, uh, we're going to go over tech tree upgrades. So, the best path for your uh, tech tree upgrades. Now, instead of the best path, because, you know, it's so, like, it's not that specific. It's kind of, you know, you need a little bit of everything is really going to be the answer. Just like in anything in life, um, balance is is going to be the, the best answer. If you go heavy uh, anti-splash, then you're going to be weak to something else. So um, if you go heavy defense, your offense uh, needs to catch up. So let's just start things off for low-level uh, warships uh, play. So we'll say from rank uh, 1 through 10. In my opinion, the most important defense is going to be your machine guns because they rip through uh, riflemen. They rip through low-level heavies to an extent. Um... I like them a little bit better than flamethrowers because they have a little bit more range. Um, and then next, I would go with mortars. And then I would probably go with uh, cannons, sniper towers, and then boom cannons because I don't see a ton of... Uh, I don't get hit with tanks a lot. And you have to upgrade the boom cannons quite a bit to actually get a decent amount of them. Uh, I only have three and I've, I've almost maxed out my, all my other defenses. Um, so... It... it that's in, in terms of defenses I think that's a good starting point um, the next thing I would uh, I would say would be to actually focus on your gunboat abilities because you use them so often you know I made that mistake I didn't upgrade artillery and I didn't upgrade barrage for the longest time and it actually kind of hurt me um, and it's been like I still need to upgrade flares which I could do right now um, yeah it's just so painful to upgrade flares because I could upgrade troop damage if I just hold out a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I would uh, I, I would prioritize gunboat abilities next. Uh, heroes are, are worth doing. Definitely, definitely upgrading Dr. Gavon is going to be huge because um, you get like, compared to the main base, you get like, uh, what is it, like six or like four to six upgrades per warships upgrade. Um, so it's actually pretty significant when you get Gavon to, uh, to max level. Um... He brings in like a whole second, his second win brings in like a whole extra boat of riflemen, which is pretty huge. Um, the next thing I would focus on would be these guys. These are huge. These are your building health, your building damage, your troop health, your troop damage. As soon as you unlock one of those, get as close as you can to maxing it out because it's, it's essentially your statues, right? And you don't want to play the game without statues. So I would focus on those things. Unlock the engine room. Don't place it until you start... Um, until you start to really lose, uh, especially on defense, because uh, you're just facing people with, you know, four engine rooms and you have three and you're losing a lot uh, because uh, they're just taking down your base a lot faster and easier. At that point, that's when you can start to look at placing another engine room. Um, so I think those are some pretty good general beginner tips. Prototypes are huge. Out of all the prototypes, I would go with Doom Cannons. I've got three of them out of my base right now and it does seem to be pretty helpful. Um, so let's just get into some battles here, guys. Let's get into some battles. So I'm going... I've been trying out Heavy Zooka. I, I... I got nothing. I got nothing to attack these seven engine room bases that I keep constantly getting... Be getting... Uh, putting up with. So for anything else, anything that isn't a seven engine room base, I use the tried and true and trusted um, Rifle Cryo Zooka Medic, and I use it with either Second Wind or Ice Shield, depending on the base. If there's a lot of... Uh, you know, if there's a, if there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna ha that I know I'm gonna have to plow through, that's when I'll use second um, ice shield. Versus if it's a base like this where it's a little bit more spread out, I have a little bit more time to get through each section. That's when I'm gonna uh, go with second wind instead, because I can kind of you know get through a section. Okay, we got a bit of a breathing space. I can bring back some new troops um, and everything like that. So we did just upgrade Kavon recently. Uh, we're gonna see if that does help us here. You see what I mean by these machine guns, man? They just absolutely rip through uh, all of your troops. So, second wind, uh, or ice shield again, is gonna be very helpful for mortars. Uh, it's essentially just like a, a counter for mortars in and of itself. Uh, okay, let's shock right here. Let's get a health pack going over here right before they hit those mines. And, okay, only a few of them hit it, so that's okay. 
you see the difference here when you get up uh, high, to higher levels too? Like, it just becomes all about, um, you know, who's got... Uh, I'm just going for damage at this point because we're about to run out, I think. And if I was... My flares aren't high enough level to to flare back down to the beach. Plus, I'm going to be getting uh, hit with the rocket launchers the entire time. So, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Uh, okay, let's go... Okay, let's go like that, and then let's go like this on Mr. Machine Gun. He is going to take us down. Um, I don't know what how the other guys make it out on our base. Um, what I have been seeing that's been extremely frustrating is going against guys with seven engine rooms. They enter the battle, they quit, and then they win because they have one more engine room than me, and I can't do anything. So we'll take a win there. We'll take a win there, guys. Back up to 21. Back to 21 to 22 to 21. And the story goes on. So... We'll dive into another one here. Uh, let's see what we got. So, okay. He does have seven engine rooms, so I'm happy with that. He's got a lot of rocket launchers in the center, so I'm not happy with that. Uh, okay, he's got cannons everywhere. He's basically, it's basically pretty symmetrical. Uh, he only has two doom cannons, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking, guys. I think I think we're going to go with Rife Krauzuk Medic, but I'm going to bring out the Ice Shield, like I just said, for the more clustered bases. It's a little bit more helpful. And what I'm going to take out first is Mr. Shock Launcher. Oh my god, I just barraged the beach. Well, there goes that attack, guys. There goes that. Man, that sucks. That's such a punishing thing in Warships if you misclick like that. I've That's only the second time I've ever done it, but... Uh, Whew, that is painful. Thankfully, I only had one barrage left to throw down, or that could have been even worse. Um, let's throw a shock here, and let's wait a sec. Let's get an ice shield going, actually, because that doom cannon's going to start to uh, pluck us off. Um, okay, these flamethrowers are going to do some work, but hopefully that one med kit can kind of stave them off until uh, we get our next ice shield. Let's go with another ice shield. All the riflemen are basically gone already. Uh, they just got rinsed. Ooh, man, did they ever get rinsed by those rock launchers? Yeah, three, six, seven, seven max rock launchers. Do not underestimate them, guys. Even going against heavies, they're going to get some work done. So, whew. Okay, so we're going for a percentage versus percentage. Oh, I got to show you guys this other, um, this other, wow, we actually won that. That's crazy. I had another battle just like this. It ended up in a draw, and we actually won. And this is what it was. <laughs> we both got 13%. And since I died faster, I actually won the attack. He used tanks, and it took him a lot longer to get through my base. So, like, we both had terrible attacks, but uh, that's what it was. Okay. Maybe we'll be able to get a chest this video, guys. Maybe we'll be able to get a chest. Then we could talk some more about some tech tree upgrades. Uh, okay, I like this base. Yo, I like this base a lot, actually. He looks, like, very underleveled. His offense must be insane if, if he's slacking on his defense this much. Uh, okay, let's go with a health pack over here. Yeah, look at the difference. Look at the difference. That machine gun's doing nothing to us. Versus the other one that just, like, um... Like, that, it, it just wiped out, like, all of our riflemen in one go. Alright, so we might be able to walk this base, guys. Um, okay. We might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but, uh, we'll see what we can do here, at least. Uh, okay, let's go with a... Go with the med kit over here. And then we want to shock Mr. Doom Cannon. Uh, okay, and then we're going to shock over here as well. Uh, okay, we got the Zooks coming in on that side. And we're looking pretty strong here, guys. We're looking pretty strong. Let's let Kavon get right in the center. Let's get a nice... That was a nice ice shield right there. Um, nothing more satisfying than getting a completely covered ice shield when you're like midway through the attack. Look at this, guys. I don't even remember the last time I was able to 100% a base. We probably won't because that Doom Cannon is still there. But we'll get some really good work done either way. Uh, so we got him down to 2. Let's throw a shock here. And start to get out in front. Now I'm not even worried about that rock launcher. It's going to not do anything. Uh, okay, let's get another shock over here. And are we going to have enough to get those last two engine rooms? I don't think so. Hey, he got one of ours. Uh-oh. That's not good, guys. If we got one of ours now, then... Oh, he got two of them. He got two of them. Okay, we got a flare now. We got a flare. We got to get this one down for sure. Uh, I'm hoping that he doesn't get more than two, obviously. Come on, Zookas. Come on, medics. Keep him alive. Keep him alive, medics. Come on, medics. 
One more shot. Boom, there it is. Okay, so we were able to just barely escape with that one. Let's throw a barrage on this mortar because it looks like the lowest level out of all the defenses there. Maybe we'll get the flamethrower as well. Boom, look at that, guys. So, uh, pretty solid attack there. Pretty solid attack. I don't think he's getting any more than uh, those two engine rooms because he's taking a long time. Okay, there we go. So, we got a chest. Got some upgrades. We're slowly making our way back up to 22. Slowly but surely, guys. And we got a nice diamond, uh, diamond tier chest there. We'll take that. Now, I do have one more chest that, uh, that we can unlock here. So, uh, what should we upgrade here? I could max out... Uh, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's get um, let's get some regular mines, I think. And then we can max those out as well. Uh, okay. Should we max out the regular mines? Can I do the mines and something else? I think that would be a good choice. Yeah, I can do the mines at max level. And we can do something else. Um, we can do troop health. We'll do troop health and max level mines. So a little bit of offense, a little bit of defense. Whoa, we got a lot of mines here. Um, so I'm, I won't bore you guys with uh, with making you watch the chicken place all these mines. But uh, guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave your best tech tree comments down below in the comment section. I'll pin the best ones. Other people will see it. Helps out everyone. Everyone benefits, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Breakfast.